Hello and welcome to this video about model-driven development on microcontrollers. What we have here is a blue pill and a blinking LED and this is all running on the microcontroller. So here we see the model that's executing basically a counter that's toggling this GPIO output. I've connected the LED to PB11. So yeah, Bringing LEDs to blink is a huge step yeah? and it always shows that you have set up the tool chain correctly. So let's talk about how we get there to run the simple model. I have an um, example workspace here. So these are all the examples that come with ABMT and there's another project called Embed Nodes. This, this node here, this comes from Embed Nodes and you can get the Embed Nodes project from github the other thing we need is a runtime so let's look at the project here and we are having another runtime normally you only see sim and live and we have this embed runtime this embed runtime is also a project you can download at github we have that here embed is basically a, an operating system that comes from arm it has a website here and there are a lot of targets we uh, can execute embed on. I will talk about this later a bit more widely. So let's talk about the setup. Here in this documentation, we see what we need. We need these two projects here, and we need to install pip, wget, maybe Py, Py, um, openocd and zip. And after we have done that, we have to install these dependencies here. This may change uh, on, common, uh, on updates when Embit uh, continues its development, but for the moment, these are the dependencies. Then restart your console because you have to update your path variable. Um, yeah, and then start right away. So select Embed Runtime and create your model here. Um, I've already done this, so compilation, the first compilation takes a while because um, yeah, it needs to download the tool chain, it needs to download the embed operating system and uh, compiles everything. Most of the things it compiles are not needed and not linked into your binary. Yeah, so I've already done that. And yeah, let's talk about the nodes and the things we've got here. So this is a GPIO output. And the other nodes that come with this embed nodes packages are analog input, analog output, some filters with other types. Here's some memory information. You can get the stack size and the name of the thread with the largest stack size. You can get heap information. Yeah. And there's also a CPU load helper node. So you can basically measure the ticks in idle when you have, no have nothing run on your microcontroller. Add these ticks here. And then it calculates a load out of the current ticks you get. So that's for that. Here is a node that helps you setting up your priority. So here you can enter the priority and here you can add the raster, which you want to change priority to be applied to. Yeah. And use some test load function to stress the CPU a bit. GPIO output, GPIO input, an I2C node. We will use that later. Here's an interrupt pin, so you can specify a pin, and every time it is toggled, then uh, you, your raster will be toggled for that. PVM output, that's also useful. And a ticker. Um, Embed only supports. Uh, rasters that are one milliseconds or slower and if you have another period um, or delay then uh, you can use a ticker uh, node here and yeah here we have uart uh, a uart for usb and a reset node if you want to get it to the bootloader or if you have a fault or whatever okay so that are the notes a bit and Let's play a bit around. So, as you have seen here, we have a POTI, and let's connect that to our LED. 
So we take here this pin and make this a PVM pin. Remove this here and add the analog input. Analog input and the analog the poti is connected to PB P A P A zero when I remember right. Let's look. Let's have a look here. It's compiling. Flashing. And here we go. Let's turn the potty around and it's getting lighter and darker when you turn the potty. So as easy as that. So what's next? Let's look at some I2C function. I have here a MPU sensor and let's go. So I2C this is the wrong project. We have to take the embed nodes one and let's take the sensor here. Let's compile it first and see if everything's running. Oh yeah, I have to specify the pins. Let me see. I don't know if these are the default pins. Let's check. Here we have a view, and let's see. Take the toggle output here. Oh no, now we don't need the toggle output, we need the analog output, for example. I turn the potty around, and here we go. So now let's look if the sensor is working. I see no error message, so it seems to look lucky me that the pins are correct. Okay, that's also working. Change the view. I'm wiggling it around and here we see what I'm doing. Okay, so now let's connect this to the PVM output. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. We take an expression when ACC dot x is bigger than zero we turn on the pvm okay try it here we go oh something that's not, not working oh it did not flash Oh, I've, let me show it. I've unplugged this connector here. So, plug it in, try again. Okay, it works. Let's look at the poti. Smaller than zero, bigger than zero, smaller than zero. And let's show it to you here. So now we're controlling our LED with the motion sensor. So this is basically a bit to show you around in the embed nodes and um, how to do uh, yeah, model-driven development on microcontrollers. So, um, Let's talk a bit more about other targets. So yeah, here the blue pill, very famous, but there are a lot of other microcontrollers out in the world. And um, Embed has a large support for many boards. So um, just look at the Embed homepage. And here you see, for example, 106 boards that are supported. Um, smaller boards, bigger boards, I guess here at the bottom there's a very small one here for example. Yeah, there are a lot of companies supporting Embed and having targets. Also for example the blue pill is not directly supported but you can 
add a custom target here for example i've added the blue pill it's a, uh, a driven from this uh, f1 board from this nucleo yeah and let's show you how to use this on another board so um what i have here is uh, another nucleo a pretty large one and let's connect this to uh to our pc and execute a model on that so let's remove this here and this here is also not needed anymore this whole embedded world is pretty fragment, uh, fragmented there are many many um, different ways to do stuff and most of them won't work so um, yeah so here we have our board let's go back to our model we remove this i2c stuff and just make a blinking led to um, show you how this works so da -da -da, output and gpi output and we take pin um led one um yeah the pin names for every target are written down in for example in the target directory the pin names header so here and here here we have also an led pin defined console pins are defined here and um yeah but when you click on your it's click on this uh, nucleo for example there normally comes a picture that show you how the pins are named so for example here pa pa3 for example pc yeah different boards different controllers have different pin names so yeah the ld pin is uh, also defined here for this one we have actually three leds so now let's change the target so here we have a nucleo F429ZI and let's take uh, write this here Leo F429ZI and we take a different flash command because ST flash is not working here with this device or not working very good here so let's take here open OCD for example I have to update the uh, ST link that's on this device. Haven't done that yet. So we go for this one. It's a fragmented world. That's why blinking LEDs make every developer so uh, lucky. Okay. Um, I don't want to use the CDC device because the ST link, um, the ST link here has an uh and you are converter so yeah so here's the target here's the open ocd link and yeah let's go let's try this okay it's flashing and the led is blinking so let's connect the other three leds and then we talk a bit about runtimes so let's count here from zero to two and add the other leds this will be led two this will be led this will be led three this will be led two Let's make an ex at expressions here. If a is equal to, so this is equal to two. This is equal to one, and this is equal to zero. So let's go. No, I want 
this one. Okay. Restart. Here we go. This fee, we don't need this, so. Compiling, flashing. And here we go. Our LEDs are blinking. So, just take, just select one board here you like to try, or um, yeah, derive um, um, our own custom target from that, and uh, get started. This works only for for embed devices because the embed runtime is made for embed devices. If you want to create your own um, runtime. Then um, I've made another video about that, so um, watch that and uh, create your own runtime. Or just copy this runtime, make your changes and uh, rename it. So that's basically it, what I wanted to show to you. And thank you. Bye bye.